The Liberal Party has made a habit of announcing promises that are never kept. A $4 billion emergency relief fund announced in 2019 hadn't spent a single dollar by 2021. The vast majority of bushfire relief funds announced in 2020 have not been delivered. People are still living without homes. Morrison announced $1 billion for tourism stimulus. No money was delivered to tourism operators. An economic recovery scheme billed as JobMaker promised 450,000 jobs, but delivered just 609 jobs in its first six months. The Home Builder Scheme was announced to support 27,000 applicants. Months later, it had yet to release a single dollar. The announcement of a COVID vaccine deal turned out to be so misrepresentative that the manufacturer thought the announcement was about a different company. When the vaccine was available, the government's own rollout target of 4 million doses delivered by the end of March 2021 was missed, falling short by over 3 million doses. In May 2021, a breach of state-managed hotel quarantine in South Australia spread to Victoria, which had to endure another mass lockdown. The constitutionally mandated federal government responsibility for quarantine and vaccine rollouts was so lacking that while comparable nations were achieving 40 to 50% full vaccinated, Australia languished behind at only 2%. Tony Abbott promised no cuts to the ABC. The Liberal Party delivered cuts of $738 million since 2013. They promised NBN delivered cheaper and faster. In support of this, they censored official costs, including estimates and actual spend, as well as lying about costs under the previous government. In reality, the final budget was nearly doubled and their deadline overshot by years, all to deliver a substandard result with Australia ranked 61st for global broadband speeds. If you care about a government actually delivering and meaning what it says, don't vote for the Liberal Party.